Welcome to the Amazon rainforest. So this tree is a killer tree. Yeah. The needle there is another tree. Oh yeah, damn. This tree has completely enclosed another tree inside of it. Here inside and tree the, the front. When the iguanas sense danger, they fall from the trees into the water. So how did I get right here? Let's go on a little journey. Back to where I started in Manaus, the capital of the Amazonas state in Brazil. Okay, we're gonna take this boat. I am crossing the Black River. Then, we saw something really cool. The two different rivers meet here. The Amazon River is the largest river in the world, only the Nile in Egypt compares. As you can see, the two different rivers are different colours due to temperature and the current Although they are right next to each other, the two rivers don't mix. Once I reached the other side of the river, this was waiting for me. If you are with me for my Mongolia vlogs, this totally reminded me of that ride. So, I guess it's time for a bit of off-roading. After about an hour and a half we reached a small port and I met the staff of the lodge that I'm staying at. To have any kind of real access into the jungle here you must go with guides. The guides at Dolphin Lodge have connections to the roots of the Amazon. For example, my guide's grandfather is from one of the indigenous tribes living further in. All the staff are local, including the owner, and the lodge was built by hand. We're arriving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
These giant lily pads are called Victoria. I asked how they got their name and I was told that the native people named them after a story. The story is that there was a very, very beautiful girl named Victoria who drowned in the river. And the spot where she died, these giant lily pads came up and started growing. I really loved the vibes here. More forest adventures coming up. See you there.